Hi, good day everyone. My name is Woon Siang. I'm from Ajit Corporation Singapore. Today, I will show you a trick or two on Bird Software Solution itself. Hope you enjoy. Hi, today I will talk about using actually iHub SMTP configuration to configure so that you can actually send out schedule reports as an email attachment or link to your user upon report generations. For demo purposes, we are using a Microsoft or EGS SMTP mail server to simulate a server that are able to receive and send email for your users. You can download Microsoft SMTP mail server from the link above. After installing the software, you can actually create a sample domain ID called ags.com. Then you create a user, AGS, in the AGS called demo, associate it with one of our demo users in actually iHub demo. Then we show you how to define SMTP server. And finally, schedule a report and send out the notifications. Now we have installed AGS mail. Let's start it on the taskbar. Right click on AGS mail. Go to options. Define your DNS server name. They are able to log your email. Define a local domain. For example, in this case, ags.com. Use your port. In this case, I'm using port 26. And you can actually define security as well for authentications. Next, you define your users. I've created a demo user, ID demo, password demo as well. Next, you go to Actuate Management Console. This time, config at the end to go to your configurations, enter the password. At the bottom of the page, you see a mail notification setting. Define your host name, either IP address or host server name. Define a port 26, your sender email address, and the sender name. Close your application. Now you can go to the actual management console, log in. You need to define your users. In this case, demo who is going to receive the email over here, his or her email addresses. That will be the recipient. Next, you can do a schedule of a report over here. Let's schedule a very simple but report. In this case, we use a cross tag example, schedule it. Go to notifications, define, sending an email notification with or without attachment. In this case, we'll use a PDF attachment. Define the recipient, in this case, administrator or demo. In this case, we choose demo. Click OK. The report will be scheduled immediately. Once it's completed, the report will go into the complete queue. Now you see there's a job there. We go to our mail client. In this case, we use Windows Live Mail. Okay, we already configured the IP uh, addresses. Now you see the email has been received. Okay, and you can actually see that the attachment has been attached as well. Now let's look at the attachment. Double click on it. You see your email notifications. Okay. So this is where the server actually schedule reports for your users. Next, your user can go to the information console and schedule reports and send the report to themselves. Log in the, the user demo, password demo, example. 
you need to go to the configuration options, notifications, to change your users to allow email sending. Okay, close it. Now you can go to the public forums, schedule another report, client investment. So this is a simple report. Now we schedule it. Go to save as, enable notification, send as a attachment, click finish. Okay. After a while, you go to your jobs to see that the report has been completed. There you have it. Again, open up your mail client. Refresh it. Now you see a new email coming in with a new attachment over here. So this is your personalized email notifications. Thank you.